YouTube, what's up? This your man, Big B Production 100. Now, tonight I'm going to show you guys not one, but two cool applications that I had on my Mac for quite some time, and I feel bad because I didn't share it with you guys. So what I did was, I fired up one, two, three, four. I fired up four applications on my Mac so I can show you what this application do and how it works. So as you see here for Safari, I'm running this on my first desktop. Mm. I'm also running Adobe Photoshop CS5. I'm running Photoshop Elements and we're running Adobe Lightroom 3. So we're going to start by closing some of these out because the application I'm going to show you is for your RAM, so we're just going to shut these down one by one. Uh, come on, close for me, okay? There we go. Blah 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 blah. blah. No, we'll do that later. We're gonna skip. Uh, we're gonna skip this time, okay? We'll do that later. Just trying to do a tutorial here, okay? Cool, cool. Here we go. We're gonna close down Safari, and I'm also running this cool little cursor effect here, which I like. Okay, we're gonna go to Launchpad click on memory free now what memory free is it'll free up a lot of space within your RAM so right now we got 5.82 gigabytes of memory we got active 1.33 gigabytes and we got inactive 188.7 megabytes we're using 218 well 219 now just changed bouncing around kind of funny here we're using 2.18 gigabytes of 8.00 gigabytes now what you do is click on free memory, give it a second, like seven seconds, eight seconds, something like that. Free some of that space up for you. Okay, we just freed up 318.5 megabytes now that we can use. Now if you want, you can actually click it again. We're gonna click it again and try to free up a little bit more space. We only got mm, 88.7 megabytes inactive, but we're gonna see what we can squeeze out of that. Okay, cool, we just got 175.2 megabytes freed up. So, okay, cool. Now we got a lot of space. Now, all of this green you see right here, that's good to go. You know what I'm saying? You can use all of that. And that's 6.29 gigabytes free for you to use whatever you want to do, play some games. I don't care if you just want to search the web, whatever. So, that's cool. We're going to get up out of there. That's the first application. Now, the second application I'm going to show you guys is called Smart Drive. Now, this is cool to have. We got a 500 gigabyte Western Digital hard drive inside of my iMac, which I hate. I hate Western Digital hard drives. I only use Seagate, and I actually want to put a Seagate inside of my Mac, or maybe go with something like a solid state drive. So we're gonna do that later. But anyway, what Smart Drive is, it will alert you if your hard drive is gonna fail on you. So let's just say like you're working on your Mac, and then one day suddenly your hard drive, your computer just crashed. I mean, you just messed up. You know what I'm saying? This will alert you a week or two before that happens, so therefore you can contact Apple and tell them, hey, my hard drive acting up kind of funny, whatever, I think it's probably gonna fail. I need to bring this in for you guys to check it out. Something ain't right. This will contact you, well, this will let you know, you know what I'm saying, that it like pop up on your desktop or whatever, display, like basically whatever's going on with your hard drive, and you can call Apple and give them the reading that you got from this application, which is called Smart Drive. So right here it says that this drive appears to be healthy at this time, uh, what else? We got the temperature, 56 Celsius, 132.8 Fahrenheit, has been in use for a total of 6,065 hours. So I tend to keep my Mac on 24-7. I may shut it down once a week, but most of the time I just tend to put it to sleep for like maybe like five or six hours. And that's like late at night when I'm not on it or I'm not downloading the movies or music or something like that. But like I said, this is a real cool application to have on your Mac. So if you don't have it, be sure to head over to the Mac App Store and download this application. It's called Smart Drive. Don't just be sitting up on your Mac and just let your Mac just fail on you. Have some backup. You got a time machine. So now go and download this. It's only two bucks. You can't beat it. We're going to close that down get up out of there. So like I said, that's called Smart Drive. Uh, another application I just showed you guys was called Memory Free. So be sure to head over there and get that as well. So right now, I'm sorry, but that's all I got for you guys on YouTube. Be sure to check out my website, ub2.com slash bigbproduction100. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for this video. It's late. I'm going to get up out of here. It's 3.42 a.m. in the morning. So I'm going to holler at you.